The list includes a North Ramp aircraft maintenance hangar at almost 86 million, nearly 62 million for an operational and maintenance hangar for the Navy's unmanned MQ-4C surveillance drones, over 63 million for modular storage magazines, more than 53 million for X-ray wharf improvements, and almost 133 million for a tanker maintenance hangar. An earlier funded Air Force fuel cell hangar is still the subject of negotiations in the annual budget or authorization process. The approved Guam projects also include $20 million to harden fuel system buildings against attack. Guam Congresswoman Madeleine Bordalio's office says none of the funding in the House Appropriations Bill is yet blocked. The Senate last year blocked Government of Japan funds for fiscal 13, but has not yet acted on the fiscal 14 National Defense Authorization Bill. Bordalio's office says, as of now, there are no prohibitions on this funding, and we hope to keep it that way. But some Washington observers are already predicting a House-Senate standoff on domestic versus military spending that could delay new funding, even with passage of a new defense budget measure. Spending bills must also be passed. Last year's fiscal 13 House-Senate defense budget bill relaxed but did not eliminate U.S. and Japan build-up spending restrictions, including for Guam water and sewer and other civilian projects. The compromise allowed U.S.-Japan spending on project environmental studies and $26 million in funding for the North Ramp parking project. The Senate panel won its bid last year to more than half the House bill's authorization to spend $128 million on the Air Force fuel cell hangar. The Senate committee agreed to a nearly $102 million upgrade of the fuel pipeline from Anderson to Naval Base Guam and an Army National Guard headquarters worth $8.5 million. Last year's deal also prevented retirement of the Global Hawk surveillance drones at Anderson, something the Pentagon is still talking about doing. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.